the only advice I would like like to give to my instructors is to just kind of um, understand what we're going through. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we have like really tough schedules. Like obviously we want to commit to our classes, but we also have life going on. My advice to give to my physics instructors particularly is don't be afraid to make it too hard. The biggest piece of advice I would give to instructors is to realize that all your students are different. We've had experiences and environments that have shaped how we think, how we react, how we learn. I think the best advice I could, I could give would be to uh, get to know your students the best you can. And I think it's one really easy way to do that, and that is to get to the classroom really early and make sure that the students know you're really available and talk to the students before they ever step foot in the classroom. It's important to remember that for most students in our classrooms, they're not really trying to master a particular field in the way that we are or in the way that our graduate students are. They're just out there trying to figure out the world. I, th I believe the best piece of advice that anyone ever gave me about teaching um, is pretty specific to chemistry. They said that not everybody wants to be a chemist when they were talking to me about tutoring and about teaching other students. And I had learned that um, the hard way before that um, by trying to teach people just the chemistry side of things. And I had definitely learned that more on my own later on when I became a TA here. The best piece of advice I ever got about teaching was to get really good feedback from students on all aspects of the class. Listen to what they're saying, watch what they're doing, see how they're interpreting things, and be attentive to all of those things. And a second thing that I would say is to make it simple. Every class period there's two points this, and then in section there's this pointage and this pointage, and it's all over the place. If you just had very simple things, laid out, it would work a lot better. I often give advice that's really nuts and bolts, like how to be really organized going into a classroom, because I think that the degree um, that we show our students how organized we are, how much we've prepared, how much we've thought through things about how our classes will actually work, sends a strong message to them about the effort that we've put in and how much we really care, not just about the material, but about their experience of it. It takes time to learn how to pace your classroom correctly, to learn what people, how people learn, what people want. Um, so be patient. You're going to get a lot of advice from a lot of people, um, but don't try to take it as your only way of being a good teacher. If uh, you try to be um, all of your favorite teachers or whoever gave you advice, you'll just become the worst parts of all of them. So you have to find who you are and really shape yourself into being that ideal teacher rather than uh, trying to be one that you've already met. Know yourself as best you can uh, and to know the gift that you have to bring and to trust that gift because students are very generous. They, <laughs> they want you to succeed. 